I'm so nervous. I didn't even adjust my mirror. Jesus, take the wheel because I don't know what I'm doing. You have the audacity to slam the brake on me. And now you want to tell me to parallel park. I don't know how, but I just forgot everything that I learned. All four wheels was on the pavement. Mm. I love smoothies, guys. I've been obsessed with smoothies recently. Mm. This tastes so good. Hey guys, welcome to another video. I'm Tashika Bailey, and if you're new to my channel, please hit the subscribe button down below and join the family. Also, whilst you're here, go ahead and follow me over on Instagram. It's official Tashika. I post loads of fashion photos, lots of reels, and just lots of content so if you don't follow me there then you're definitely missing out in this video i'm gonna share with you guys the traumatic story of how i've managed to fail my driving test not once not twice but three times i failed my test three times guys like three times that is a lot considering that i thought i'd actually pass the first time I can actually drive guys, like I can drive, I promise you, I can drive. <laughs> I felt like I really needed to share this story because I've been watching so many videos of people driving, like car tours and how people have failed as well because it really really helps. Obviously guys, I'm still trying to get my license out here, so I'm still doing lessons, so watching videos like that definitely helps because then you'll know what not to do on your test. So I feel like sharing my story will definitely help some people, whoever's doing their test right now. There's been a huge backlog on tests and i'm so grateful that i actually have a test coming up so i've been practicing in my own car with a new instructor and everything the videos are on my channel so if you haven't seen them go and check them out but yeah i feel like i'm gonna stop rambling now and i'm just gonna start the story i don't want to think about it but i'm gonna start and i'm gonna share with you guys what had happened <laughs> The first test I did was May 2019 and that was after doing, I think I did about 30 hours of lessons or 30 to 40 hours of lessons and then I took my test. I was confident, like so so confident going into that test, like I thought I would pass, I was not nervous at all, I was just like yeah this is going to be easy, like I can drive, I've been driving to test standard, that's what my instructor said, like driving test standard so i was so calm so relaxed going into that test and the thing is with me i don't get nervous like nervous for what what is there to be nervous of i was thinking if i fail i'll just redo it but i was confident that i was going to pass and because it wasn't a big deal at the time because i didn't have a car i didn't even have money to like <laughs> buy a car or to pay for insurance and all of that so i was so relaxed i was like i just want to get my license it's not like i'm in a rush to drive anyway i just wanted my license so yeah we got to the test center um they check your id obviously and everything started the test and the test was going so so smooth so simple i was so relaxed and i was just like wow this is so easy like this is a breeze and i wanted the drive into the bay maneuver that was the one i wanted and she was like yeah drive into the bay and reverse out and i was like <laughs> she gave me the one that i wanted i'm gonna pass this test like that is the one i wanted i didn't want parallel park and i didn't want to do the reverse bay or the pullover on the right or whatever i just wanted to drive into the bay reverse out and that's what i got so i was like yeah i've got this test i'm gonna get my license <laughs> It's proper excited and then I drove into the bay everything was fine the car was in the bay and then she was like reverse out and like carry on driving so <sighs> biting point first gear check everywhere signal and all that and then I reversed the car like just reverse the car out please tell me why my head was stiff I was reversing like this guys like I was reversing like that and looking at the mirrors I did not check behind me and look like turn my head and look to see if there was any hazards or anything happening around the car I, I don't know what happened I wasn't nervous but I don't know what happened my head would not turn <laughs> I was literally just sitting there reversing with my head straight then when I reversed she was like drive on when you're ready so I was like okay cool in it so I looked around again make sure I put it in first gear and then I drove on but the thing is it was a 
unmarked car parks it was one of those car parks where it didn't have any markings on any side there was no line in the middle of the road nothing like that so i literally i reversed into the right hand lane and then i started driving off in the right hand lane i continued to drive in the right hand lane and she was like you're in the wrong lane and i was like oh shit so i looked checked the mirrors signaled and then i just moved over into the left lane and i was like oh, okay cool like i moved over into the left lane it's not a big deal i didn't think that at that point i'd have failed the test because i didn't do anything crazy there was nothing like dangerous happening around me there wasn't a car in front of me or anything like that at that time but yeah i was just like okay cool in it i moved over and then i just continued driving nice and safe as soon as i moved over and I continued driving, I saw a vehicle coming in that lane that I was in and I was like, oh shit, like if she didn't tell me that I'm in the wrong lane, you know I would have crashed, like that car would have driven into my car and just like mashed up because I didn't even know that I was in the wrong lane, but lucky thing she told me because <laughs> that would have been a disaster. But yeah, that, that was the second reason, so it was observation, I didn't turn my head and look behind me and then I didn't, um drive in the correct lane and then I, apparently i was exiting a roundabout and i was driving in the bus lane now up until this day i don't know what bus lane this woman is talking about because when she, when i felt like i was literally sitting down thinking like yeah i passed yeah i did so well i, I just can't wait to hear her tell me yeah congratulations you passed like i was just sitting there like yeah she's like Does, do you want the examiner to to hear the results i was like no i'm good like just tell me the results <laughs> tell me the results and she was like, oh, unfortunately, on this occasion, you haven't passed. I was like, what? What do you mean I haven't passed? What did I do? Like, I passed. What did I do? And she was like, oh, um, when you reversed, you didn't check around the vehicle. You didn't turn your head and look behind you. So that was very dangerous. And if there's something, like, happening around the car, if there's somebody around the car, that you would have hit whatever was behind the car because you didn't turn your head and look. And I was like, oh. I didn't even notice that I didn't turn my head and look. It just kind of happened. Like, I just reversed and my head didn't move. For the second thing, it was in the wrong lane. And obviously that one, I was like, I knew I was in the wrong lane, but I didn't know that I failed. But she was like, yeah, you would have failed for that. So I got one minor, which was um, not minor, one um, serious which was not looking around, observation. Then I got another one for being in the wrong lane and driving on in the wrong lane. Because on the test, you can reverse into the right lane after a maneuver, and then you can drive on and obviously you go back into the left lane. But I was proper like driving in the, in the right lane, like cruising in the right lane. So she was like, yeah, you were proper like driving in the right lane. That is a serious fault or a dangerous fault, whatever. So I got like two, dangerous or serious and um another one she was like yeah you were in a bus lane when you left a roundabout and i was like up until this day like i don't know what roundabout what round what um bus lane are you talking about i still don't know what bus lane she's talking about but apparently there was a bus lane and i failed i got three serious and i got actually three minors for that so if i didn't get those dangerous or serious faults i would have just passed with three minors So I was mad, I was mad mad because the test was so easy and I, I got the, the question, show me tell me question, she was like, oh, wind down the window and I was like, <laughs> wind down the window, like what kind of question is that? And there I was like pressing the button, like shing, pop it winding down the window and then winding it back up and I was like, wow, this test is so easy, like I'm going to pass and then I failed. The second test was november 2019 because during that time like i needed to save a whole lot of cash and i needed to work my ass off to make money to do lessons all over again i think i booked like another 30 hours or 20 hours i'm not sure but i took a long break obviously from november 2019 from may 2019 to november 2019 i took a lot a long time like to redo my test so in november i had the same instructor and for that test i actually had the same examiner like the same woman that did my first test did the second test and i don't even think she remembers obviously they have so many different people 
each day like it's like they didn't remember everyone but i remember it was her because <laughs> she failed me i was like you know what this time you're gonna pass me you are gonna pass me because i've like i've got so much more experience now and i'm so much such such a better driver that there's nothing that i can do that would fail me <laughs> okay so the second test she got in the car explained the test did all that stuff and then she was like okay drive when you're ready started driving everything was good like it was all calm and then i got to this junction yeah got to this junction obviously cars in first gear and i'm there chilling and i'm waiting because there's like cars coming from the right and i'm waiting to emerge i was on the minor roads and i'm emerging into the major road so there's cars coming and i'm waiting for the road to be clear so i can go so i'm there looking now i'm there looking i'm like that car looks so far away that car is so far I was like oh I can go I've got time to go so obviously I looked and then I turned the car and then she she just slammed the brake and I was like what the hell are you doing like I looked at her and I was like because you know when they they slam the brake or if they touch the wheel like the test is done and I was just there like why would you do that? Why do you want me to fail? It's actually wanting me to fail. Like, why would you slam the brake like that? And she was just like, the car's coming. I was like, it's far away. Like, I am the driver. It's my judgment. I had enough time. The car wasn't speeding towards me. And she was just like, no, the car is is like close to me. And I'm just like, yeah, whatever in it. Because obviously I'm not gonna sit there and argue with her. She already slammed the brake and the test is over. After that, I was just literally driving like a robot. I was like, I don't care. Because you just slammed the brake on me. And then now like, you're telling me to like, drive on and continue like but i know that i failed so anyways we continued driving and i was just there like why am i even in this car <laughs> why am i in this car driving when i've failed we pulled up to this car and she was like oh i want you to pull over here so i, I pulled over stopped the car and she was like oh this is the what do they call it they don't say parallel park on the test they say something else but she wanted me to parallel park so she was like, oh, drive up next to that vehicle, reverse back, and make sure that you park parallel to the vehicle within two car lengths. So I was like, okay, cool. But I was just like, first of all, my parallel parking skill was not the best. I was like, I don't want to do this. Especially after she slammed the brake on me. I was like, you have the audacity to slam the brake on me, and now you want to tell me to parallel park. I was like, you're wicked. You are wicked. But I was like, okay, cool, it, whatever. At this point, obviously, put the car in first gear, get the button point, signal, check around, and then I moved out, parked next to the vehicle, moved back, so I was moving back. When I when I got next to the vehicle, I was like, shit, what do I do now? Because everything that I learned just went out of my head. I was like, what am I doing? I didn't know what to do, when to turn, like the left, right, right, left thing. I was like, I don't know. So I literally pulled out next to the vehicle, I reversed back a little bit and then I just turned the wheel <laughs> to the left. I just turned the wheel and I was just moving. I didn't know when to turn right, nothing. Like the parallel park for me at that time was the worst thing ever. I, I didn't know how to do it. I was just moving the wheel, turning the wheel, left to right, left to right. And then when I looked, the whole car was on the pavement. Like the whole car was on the, all four wheels was on the pavement. And she was like, you know what it's okay it's okay just drive on because <laughs> that's the thing with me like when i panic i panic and it's like i don't want to stop because i know that I've, i'm doing so bad it's like just continue doing it continue doing it continue doing it because if i stop she's gonna be like yeah you're failed she's not gonna be like are you are you done are you sure because there's no going back like i can't fix it so i was just there like if you just keep doing it keep turning the wheel keep turning the wheel then she can't tell you to stop but she was like no nah, it's okay it's okay continue just drive on and i was like okay Okay, I'll just drive on then, innit? So obviously I drove on, went back to the test centre and she was like, yeah, um, the car was coming and it was speeding towards us and you were gonna drive out. I was like, I'm literally doing a left turn, like the turn is here. The turn is here. Do you get it? And the car was all the way down there and she was just like, the car was gonna drive out. I'm just like, I had enough time, but whatever, really. Like, I can't argue with you. After that, 
she was like yeah your parallel park she was like you have no hand eye hand wheel whatever they call it coordination i didn't know oh yeah that was it at the time i was confused on which way the car will turn or the wheels will turn when i turn the wheel so i was like obviously now i know when you turn the wheel to the left the back of the car goes to the left turn the wheel to the right the back of the car goes to the right by the time i was just like I don't know what the hell I'm doing I'm just gonna turn the wheel and hope for the best like Jesus take the wheel because I don't know what I'm doing and I've already failed the test because she slammed the brake so how bad can it be <laughs> but the whole car ended up on the on the curb and I'm pretty sure she was like even if she didn't slam the brake I would have failed because that parallel park was atrocious it was so bad like I couldn't even say like but she slammed the brake it's like you, you can't even park sis you can't park so yeah for that test I got I think I got two um serious or something I probably even got more because when she slammed the brake I didn't even care at this point they started doing the um what's it called emails so they send you your results via email and I didn't even look at it because after she slammed the brake I just started doing whatever like I wasn't checking around I was just like driving like I don't care so I knew I got like bare faults <laughs> bare minor faults and I was just like whatever really, I already failed I don't know how many faults I got but obviously I know that those two was major faults putting the whole car on the curb on the, the sidewalk on the pavement is like sis I was like Ugh, I can drive and it's the fact that I actually paid for extra lessons because when you pay for more lessons it's like you're not supposed to get worse you're, you're supposed to get better you should not be slamming brakes on me and stuff like that but I'm just like so next time I'll get it. Next time I'll get it. My third test was December 2020. And this was the same day I bought this very car that I'm in right now. And I thought this was it. I was like, this is the test. Everyone is struggling to get their test date because my test was originally booked for November. And because of Corona and everything, the lockdown, they cancelled my test and I had to try and get an earlier test date. Oh, they re no, they rebooked it for March, and I was just like, I'm not having that, like, from November to March. I'm not having that. So I literally, um, I was on that app every single day. What's it called? Testy. I think I've got the, the Testy app. I was on that every day. This app here, I was on that, and I was just like, listen, I'm going to get an earlier test date, because anybody doing their tests all the way up in March 2021, so I was on the app every day, I got the test date in December and I was like, oh my god, like lockdown has been lifted and God has given me this date, like I have to pass my test, this is a sign, this is a sign that I will pass my test, I even bought a car, like I bought a whole vehicle the same day, so I was like, this is it, I'm going to pass my test, but I feel like that just added so much pressure to me like I was just under so much pressure because I'm like I'm gonna pick up the car if I don't pass the test I won't be able to drive the car if I fail the test I won't be able to get another test date for like months and then I was like I have to like remember to do the clutch remember to check the mirror and all these things so everything was just running through my mind and I just had so much going on so I was super super nervous I was trying to relax but it didn't work it didn't work. I even went to get a massage like two days before and I still flopped. But let me tell you guys, this one now, I failed the test within the first five minutes. The first five minutes I flopped and with these tests, because of corona, they don't let you continue. If it was any other day, I'd have continued and then complete the whole test just to see how well I would have done. But they're like, nope, test is done. Go, just go back home. <laughs> How I feel the test now, the third test. I was in the car, the examiner sat down in the car. He explained whatever and he was like, make yourself comfortable. So I was like, okay, cool in it. Everything was already set up because I drove the car in the morning. So the mirrors, the um, steering wheel, everything was already set up. So I was just sitting there like, just pretend to do something in it, pretend to look comfortable. Like just do something, don't just sit there like stiff. So I was just like, touching up the clutch and the, the gear and you know what I mean fixing my seat belt moving the seat forward and then I chilled then I was sitting down I'm like yeah cool in it he was like okay so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with the reverse bay park so what I want you to do is to drive the car out and reverse back into any bay of your choice 
I was like, why? Why? Why would you start the test with this? All I wanted him to do, to say is like, okay, drive one when you're ready, turn to the left or turn to the right. And I'll be like, okay, cool, in it. <laughs> I was ready to put my signal on and check and just go. But he was like, yeah, reverse B. And I was like, okay. I checked, first gear, move out the car. And at this point, I was so nervous. I don't know how, but I just forgot everything that I learned. I just forgot how to do a, a simple, simple reverse bay part I couldn't even do. And you're supposed to use a reference point, right? You're supposed to line up the, um, the white line on the ground with your shoulder and then at that point you turn the car to the left to go into the bay or to the right, wherever you are, yeah? I couldn't even see the line, so I was reversing backwards and all I did was just look and I was like, you know what? If you reverse too much, you're gonna miss the bay because there, there wasn't a lot of bays where I was. So if I reverse too much, I'm gonna miss the bay and then I'm gonna have to drive forward and move. And I was like, don't do it. So I was like, cool, just turn the wheel. So I went, shing, I just turned the wheel. I didn't even know if it was a reference point or not. I just turned the wheel, so I was like, hopefully it lands in one of the bays. <laughs> somehow so magically just end up in another way i was trying to like line up and like try and see the the lines and i couldn't see any of the lines thing is i forgot to adjust my mirror like that's something i'm so nervous i didn't even adjust my mirror because you're supposed to t put the mirror down so you can see the lines on the floor the car ended up in, in between the where was it it was in between two bays it wasn't sitting in the bay and I was just I was trying to fix it I was turning the wheel left and right and left and right and at, at the test center that I was which is here the green oh yeah guys the first two test centers that was at Belvedere it wasn't at Hill the green and because I felt I was like no nah, I need to go somewhere else because this isn't the place like this isn't it so I completely switched and I went to hit the green but the thing is at Hither Green Test Center the the bay park situation like to me there's not enough space like usually in a normal road you have like in a normal bay situation in like if you're in a car park or whatever there's enough space in front for two vehicles like one to go that way and one to go the other way you know what I mean go and come but um at this one it's literally like one road so there wasn't enough space in front and because I missed the reference point, I was trying to like fix the vehicle and do all of that and it was just a bit mad. And I was literally like trying to reverse, trying to fix it and trying to put the car in the bay and then he just stepped on the brake and he was just like, yeah, you're going too far back. <coughs> you're gonna hit the wall behind and I was like, oh, okay. And then that was it. And then he just started writing a bunch of shit down on the paper and he was like, yeah, that, yeah, unfortunately you didn't pass, obviously. I didn't even think he said that. I knew, I was just like, wow. I didn't even get to leave the test centre. I paid £62 to go and flop the test. I paid £85 to use my instructor's car to just go and flop the test in five minutes. Like, I was hurt. I was so hurt. And when I'm upset, I don't want to talk. Like, I'm just, like, don't talk to me. I'm mad. So my instructor came and he just, obviously I moved over to the passenger seat because I'm now a passenger. <laughs> I can't drive a car so I moved over to the passenger seat and I was just sitting down deep in like am I gonna be a passenger forever am I not gonna get my license in this lifetime and be able to drive a vehicle he just came in the car got the wheel and he was just bare cash like it's okay he didn't ask me nothing like oh what did you find difficult when did you turn what was your reference point to turn like when you reverse into the bay he just started speeding like speeding off like just speeding off like he was trying to get somewhere and I'm thinking listen why are you speeding because if if I was on my test like if I didn't flop and I was on my test you wouldn't have been speeding you would have been standing there waiting at the test center for me so why are you speeding off like you have somewhere better to be but anyways I was just sitting there and bare silent like I can't believe I just came and flopped this and the thing that added pressure is the fact that my instructor and two other people were standing there at the test center and they were just staring at me trying to struggle reverse the car like the examiner was there staring down my neck writing down whatever is writing my instructor was there some next people was there some guy was in his car and i was just like shit everyone's staring at me like are you also looking at me and yeah i just flopped i was just under so much pressure and i was like if you don't do this right now you're not gonna be able to drive your car you're gonna need somebody with you all the time then you're bothering people if you flop now you're gonna have to wait five months if you flop now you're gonna have to pay for lessons if you flop now you're gonna have to pay to use the examiner's the instructor's car again 
if you flop now like this is what was going through my head <laughs> and you guys know how lessons are expensive like they're so expensive so I was just like girl gotta do this gotta do this gotta do this but I didn't I didn't do it I flopped the fourth time I do my test which is very soon I'm hoping and I'm praying to God that I pass because I don't have the energy or the time to be doing lessons again like do you know how long I've been doing lessons for I've got so much experience like I know how to drive I've been driving from 2019 February 2019 that's when I first started my lessons and I thought would have passed in May <laughs> and it's 2021 and I'm still a learner driver I'm still a passenger it's crazy but I know that some people will take like eight times ten times sixteen times to pass so I'm just trying my best and I'm just saying guys if you're like me you're out there you know struggling to do lessons I know it's a lot of pressure right now especially with corona and everything but you will get through it you just have to believe in yourself like, I believe in myself I believe I can do this so you just have to believe in yourself and don't give up but I always say to myself the only reason you won't get a license in life is if you give up because I've spent so much money already one day after doing a test I will pass and I'll get my license the only way I will not get a license is if I give up and guess what this government will not defeat me I spent 62 pounds three times I spent like 85 pounds each time to borrow that instructor's car and I'm just sitting here like provisional still for years like I can't do it no more and I know that one day I'm gonna get my license and I'm gonna be so happy and I'm just gonna be able to drive around and be free and just live life and I won't have to be like um can you come with me to go to Asda can you come and sit next to me and supervise me like I'm not having it it's long like I'm just praying guys that I pass the next test I'm praying I'm praying I'm praying <sighs> that's how i failed my last three driving tests hope this video was helpful if you're a learner driver and you've got a test coming up just don't do what i did make sure you observe when you're reversing turn your head so and look behind you make sure that you avoid bus lanes <laughs> do not go in no bus lanes usually there's bus lanes at the end of roundabouts that's what i come to realize now and especially like driving around in london i'm like oh so usually at the end of a roundabout there's a bus lane on the left because they're always telling you oh normal driving position left 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 so i'm like i'm driving i'm like to the left to the left and then i look and it's a bus lane the test done <laughs> always observe at the junction this time I'm making sure that it's completely clear before i emerge because I'm not having no instructor, no examiner slam the brake on me again and telling me that the car is speeding towards me when the car is miles away. So I'm looking and I'm making sure that the car is past me and then I will drive out. And the last thing, just try and do your manoeuvre. Like I'm practicing my manoeuvres like so much. I even had a lesson today with my instructor and practicing my manoeuvres. So yeah, this time I should be on point. Okay, I should be on point. I should get my license because oh guys i've got so much more experience i can't see a reason why i should fail like if i come back here and, and say guys i failed my fourth test like there's something wrong with me honestly <laughs> there's something wrong with you maybe i'm not meant to drive maybe god is trying to to show me something or teach me a lesson or do something but i don't know like why it should not be this difficult to get a damn driver's license hope this video helped you guys if you're learning make sure you give it a like leave a comment let me know if you find it helpful mm. Mm, 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 mm. make sure you subscribe to my channel and i'll see you in my next video